Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Obamacare and the role it plays in the American healthcare system. I'll be explaining what Obamacare is, how it works, and all the perks that could potentially make it the ideal choice for your healthcare coverage. Without further ado, let's get started. And also, if you prefer personalized assistance, everyone's eligible to get a free consultation. If you wanna know more, check out the number on the screen or in the description down below. Now, Obamacare, also known as the Affordable Care Act, or ACA for short, is a comprehensive healthcare reform law that was passed in 2010. It was by far the most significant healthcare reform in the United States since the passage of Medicare and Medicaid in 1965. The ACA aimed to improve the healthcare system in the US by making healthcare coverage more widely available, enhancing the quality of care, and attempting to reduce healthcare costs. And one of the primary goals of the ACA was to increase access to healthcare coverage for all Americans since prior to Obamacare, around 46.5 million Americans were uninsured or underinsured, which meant that they lacked access to essential healthcare services. And the way the ACA addressed this issue was by expanding access to Medicaid and creating a health insurance marketplace where you could essentially shop for private health insurance plans. Now, you can still get an insurance plan outside of the marketplace, but then you'll be missing out on a lot of perks you might not be able to get elsewhere. First of all, one of the biggest benefits of getting health insurance through the ACA marketplace is that you may be eligible for financial assistance. There are subsidies that can take the form of tax credits and cost sharing reductions, which can help lower your monthly premiums and out-of-pocket costs. You might also be eligible for free or nearly free premium silver plans through the marketplace through subsidies. This means that the government would essentially either partially or fully pay for your insurance plan, depending on your income. Now, plants come in four different tiers, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And these silver plants fall in the middle of the tier. They cover around 70% of your healthcare cost, and they have really low deductibles. Getting ACA insurance also guarantees that you won't be denied coverage or charged higher premiums because of pre-existing conditions. For example, if you have a health condition like diabetes or cancer, you can still get health insurance that covers the care that you need. Unlike non-ACA plans that can outright deny your request if you were born with a medical condition that they don't want to cover. Also, all the plans offered through the ACA marketplace are legally required to cover a set of essential health benefits, things like preventative care, hospitalization, prescription drugs, and mental health services. And all plans must offer birth control and breastfeeding coverage, as well as pregnancy, maternity, and newborn care for both before and after birth. And if you'd like to check out the full list of essential benefits, or you want to see what other perks you may be eligible for, feel free to call the number on the screen or down in the description below. The Affordable Care Act also includes a number of consumer protections to make sure that you're getting the coverage that you need. For example, insurers are required by law to provide clear and easy to understand information about their plans, including deductibles, co-pays, and covered services. So if you were hesitant about getting insurance because of overly complicated paperwork, this isn't a problem with Obamacare. You also get the ability to appeal insurance company decisions and the option for kids to stay on their parents' plan until the age of 26. On top of that, insurers cannot impose annual or lifetime limits on coverage, and they must offer a minimum level of coverage to ensure that you have access to essential healthcare services. Also, insurers that take part in the ACA marketplace must offer a network of healthcare providers that meet certain standards for quality and accessibility. This means that you can choose from a range of providers who have already agreed to accept your insurance. And if you have a preferred doctor or hospital that's not on your plan's network, you may still be able to see them at a discount by paying slightly higher out-of-pocket costs than seeing a provider that's in the network. So essentially, if you're getting a plan through the ACA, you're more likely to get a much wider coverage and guarantee the essential health benefits required by the ACA. And this makes getting a marketplace plan a far better option for practically everyone, but especially for low-income families, people who don't get insurance through their jobs or as freelancers, and people who have pre-existing health conditions. Now, if you're healthy with an income above what subsidies can help out with, the benefits of getting involved with the ACA would narrow down a bit. But if you do have a pre-existing health condition, whether physical or mental, getting an Obamacare plan is a far better option and in most cases more affordable, especially if you qualify for government subsidies. 
But in any case, it might be worth getting a free consultation by calling the number on the screen or in the description down below to see what benefits you qualify for before making your final decisions. And if you already have an insurance plan outside the marketplace, switching to ACA insurance might be an option worth considering for several reasons. One might be you could be saving more money if you're on an ACA plan. And having the marketplace itself makes switching a lot easier. As you can see and compare each of the different plans offered and pick out the best one for you. On top of that, being under Obamacare insurance guarantees that you'd be getting a far wider coverage than non-ACA plans and that as a consumer, you're the one protected and can expect all plans to be upheld to the standard set by the ACA. Now, let me tell you why it might still be a good idea to consider health insurance even if you're healthy. Well, having insurance means that you can access preventative care services, such as regular checkups and screenings, which can help you catch potential health problems early and keep you healthy. And if you're ever in an emergency that requires medical care, having health insurance can also help cover the cost and alleviate some of the financial burden that may come with it. So overall, having health insurance coverage can potentially provide both medical and financial security. And with the ACA, you might even get insurance for free if you meet certain requirements. So if you're curious about the benefits you may be eligible for, I really do recommend that you take advantage of a free consultation by calling the number on the screen or in the description below. So that's going to be it for today's video. Feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions and like and subscribe if this video was helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.